Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show you how you can install Docker on Ubuntu 20.04. I will show you two different ways how we can install Docker. One will be using the Ubuntu repository and the other one will be installing it from source from docker.com. For this demo I'm running a Ubuntu Desktop 20.04 on VirtualBox. So we can take a look. Just go to About in Ubuntu and we'll see here Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. The first thing we want to do is open a terminal and run an apt-get update to update the package list on Ubuntu's repositories. Now let's go ahead and do just that. Let's open a terminal. Make it larger. sudo apt get update accept all changes. And our package list will be updated. This may take a second. Okay. Once that is done, installing Docker from the Ubuntu repository is uh, very straightforward. You run a sudo apt get install docker.io. Enter. This may take a minute. I will be back once this is completed. The installation is completed. And now we can check if we, for example, can take a look at the version of Docker. And we see here uh, we have version 20.10.7, um, which is adequate right now. I believe um, the version is at 20.10.8. So I'm quite happy with this release. Um, it's just one minor below the latest. Um, now we can see if we can maybe pull a Docker image. We'll just use docker run hello world. If we're running this, we will see that our image was pulled and that the uh, hello world that runs successfully printed out hello from docker. And this is just an image that you can use to test. If you are running your Docker command and you get a permission error, then you can resolve this in the following way. When Docker is being installed, a new group is being added to your Ubuntu system and that group name is Docker. So you would need to add yourself or the user who's running the Docker command to that group. And you can do that simply by running sudo user mod lowercase a uppercase g the group you want to add the user to and either the username in this case it's mine and I'm using the environment variable uh, user um, or you can if you have a different user you need to add um, Jack or whoever uh, you can do that too once you execute that that user will be added to that group and should be able to successfully execute docker commands um, once the user has been added to the group the user may need to log off and log back in for the changes to take effect um, but that should be easy to do now let's go ahead and uninstall docker and take a look at how we can install docker from source directly from docker.com uh, to uninstall let's do that first so sudo apt get remove docker.io and we'll remove it and i will also delete the docker group once this is completed and to remove the docker group we'll just run a del group docker and that has been taken care of as well 
To keep it simple, uh, I'm following the instructions on Docker Docs. I headed over to docs.docker.com forward slash engine forward slash install forward slash Ubuntu. So let's see what they tell us. If I scroll down here, they say first uninstall all old versions and they give you the command as well. We will go ahead and do that then there is three different installation methods uh, we will go ahead and set it up from the docker repositories seeing that we want to use the source and we use their repositories and then there's the instructions how we can install from the repository and you can follow them along i will demonstrate it here in a minute and then from there we can go ahead and just follow these instructions and install our docker engine from docker repository and get it running back in my ubuntu terminal let's go ahead and uh, start with the first step and uninstall all old versions therefore we need to run a sudo apt-get remove and we want to remove docker docker engine docker IO con tanner D and a run C. Let's run that. Okay, so one of them wasn't even installed, everything else had been removed um, as we were instructed on the Docker docs. Next, we will go ahead and have to set up the repository. Uh, to do that, we want to run an apt-get update first. Let's run that. And then, in order to enable to connect to the repository over HTTP, we will need to go ahead, or HTTPS, we will need to go ahead and install some additional software. Let's go ahead and do that as well. I will be back once the install is completed. The install is now completed and now we can add the official GPG key. And for that, we're just running the command that is provided to us in the Docker docs. And now we can go ahead and set up the stable repository. That's what we'll be using. Um, if you want to use uh, nightly or test or something, uh, you can do that as well. Um, however, you would need to go ahead and change it. Just follow the instructions in the Docker docs. Um, I will not get into that. I want to keep it simple. Um, so next we need to run an update on our repository list again so we want to run a on the packages sudo apt get update we'll go ahead seeing that we have added our docker repo we needed to go ahead and update the list and you see here that it has been added download docker.com um, which is exactly what we wanted and now we can go ahead and install docker for that we just grab the command from the docker docs and i will just paste it in here and i will run the install and this will grab the latest version of docker okay perfect so far everything went very smooth just following the instructions on the docker website and now let's see if we can actually run docker and here we go i ran docker under sudo we can also try to run it as me and you see we get a got permission denied while trying to connect this is also the same error that you would get installing uh, docker from the ubuntu repository as i've shown at the beginning of this video 
um, and this is now what we need to resolve by adding the user to the group so first we can see if this docker group actually has been created to do that we will run a sudo cat etsy group that will list all the groups and you see here the docker group has been created however I am not a member of this group, so me as Toby, I cannot run the Docker commands. So I need to run a sudo user mod lowercase a, uppercase g. I want to add the user to the Docker group and I'm using me, so I'm using the user, the environment variable. Once I run this, and I'm looking again at Etsy group, you see I have been added to this group. If I try to run now again, docker run, hello world, I'm still getting the permission denied. Um, this is going back to what I suggested. If you still see this after the user has been added to the group, the user may need to log out and log back in. I will go ahead and do that and I will be right back. So here I am back. I logged out of my Ubuntu instance and I logged back in. And now let's see if we can run the image as me. And you see, we're able to execute um, the Docker command the docker command and run the container without any problems as me and i do not need to be root one thing that we haven't done yet is check on our docker version let's go ahead and do that docker dash v and we'll see our version is version 2010.8 which is one minor higher um, when we install docker from the ubuntu repository so this now is the latest available stable docker version. Well, there we go. We successfully installed docker on Ubuntu 20.04 in two different ways. Once we used um, the Ubuntu repository, once we used the docker repository, and both ways worked fine for uh, you to install docker and start using docker and learning about docker if you so want to um, i want to point out too that the install instructions on uh, docker docs are also for ubuntu 2104 if that's what you would like to do um, so you can follow the same instructions i will post a link in the description below um, and at this point i want to thank you very much for uh, listening and watching and i hope to see you in the next video thank you